Yeah. That is a delicious ravioli. Is that, uh... It's the sauce. Like this is nostalgia on the, on the plate for me. Mm. Good. Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the most is here at America's Best Restaurants. And we're in Chisholm, Minnesota at Valentini's Supper Club. Here, they make their own pasta. They make homemade sauce, meatballs, sausage. I cannot wait to show you what they have in store. Let's go check it out. Oh, nice to meet Welcome you. To Thanks. So tell me, before I dive into the food, which you you know I'm going to dive into the food, but tell me, what do you want people to experience when they come here? Um, traditional Italian food. Yeah. And get the experience that you want to come back for more. Oh, I love it. I hear that you guys do a lot of homemade stuff here, so I'm very, very excited Good to taste yourself. what you have in store. Speaking of, what would you say I should try appetizer wise? Just, you know, to Definitely get me started. Okay, so One tell me a little bit about favorites. this. Uh -huh. Mushrooms, caps filled with uh, cream cheese, shrimp, wild Ooh. rice. Yeah, yep, I can't. Cap on, cheese cap on top. Delicious, let's go. Okay, get your plate to you. Yeah, thank you. And here they are. <gasps> oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. All right. So we'll get you one here. Oh, yeah, you're going to serve me? I Yay, sure thanks. Will. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's flipped. So right here, I'll do that. Okay. Yep. Double team it. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, there's a lot of cheese on here. This can't go wrong. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there's shrimp in here? Shrimp, crab meat. Oh, and crab. Awesome. I got to cut through all that cheese. I'm not mad about that. All right, let me, let me, Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. And I'm not sure if I've ever had rice in with my stuffed mushrooms. And I add, I love the texture that it adds. Oh my goodness, the creaminess of the cheese. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. The flavor is fantastic. If this is where we're starting, I can't wait to see where we go. And I hear that Chef Rob's got some something he's cooking me up in the kitchen. Yes, he's gonna do two pasta dishes for you. The yeah. Italian combo plate mm. and the sauce and pepper penny. Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's go check it out. I'm back in the kitchen now with Chef Rob, who is also a part owner here at Valentini's, and he's going to be cooking. What are you making me for today? Today we're making Italian sausage and peppers penne. Yes. Let's do this. All right, where okay. are we starting? So we'll get the burner going here. Okay. Get the pan nice and hot. Yeah. We start with the olive pomace blend, mm -hmm. not just straight olive oil because that'll burn. So you need to make sense something to saute with so it has a high burn temper. We'll get that oil nice and hot. I'm gonna grab some of my ingredients here, okay? Awesome. Um, we have a stoplight bell pepper, which is the red, yellow, green that we're using today. Mm -hmm. We have sweet red onions. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna get those going first in the pan. Awesome. Kind of get those all uh, coated with the olive oil. Get them all nice and uh, cooking. Try to caramelize that a little bit on there, okay? How long have you been cooking? Uh, over 35 years. Yeah, yeah. so a little bit. Yeah, I grew up, uh, grew up in family restaurants with my mom and my family. Um, did that since I've been 10 years old, I think, so yeah. You're, just, you're primed for this, right? right? Growing well, up in the restaurant yeah. industry. So, so now, <laughs> now I'm in it, I'm dug in, so yeah. So tell me some of the influence being both part owner and chef, like what are some of the influences that you have on the current menu? Well, when Paul and I took over, um, we kept all the great stuff from Valentini's, uh -huh. tweaked it just a little bit, of course. Yeah. Um, 
But one thing I learned just growing up and one thing that I love to do is obviously use high quality ingredients all the time. Fresh, you yeah. know, keep it kind of simple um, and just uh, homemade. You know, everything everything here yes. is homemade. And, and like I kind of said earlier, we say homemade because this is our second home. We spend a lot of time yeah, here. Yeah, I so love that. <laughs> we're, we're making homemade food all the time here at Valentini's and uh, yeah, we love it. So the so. sausage that's going into this dish you make here? The sausage that's going into this dish we make here. Um, nice. I have some of it right here. Beautiful. And we actually just kind of cut that up at a bias. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna add that right to the peppers and onions that we're doing. Woo! And I'll get that sauteed <laughs> down. Get everything uh, with all those flavors coming out. So we're gonna get that all caramelized on there real nice. You know, as that's, yeah, as that's, that's cooking on there. that's looking pretty. And of course, you have to have Fresh garlic. Use a ton of garlic in our cooking, a ton of white wine in our cooking. So add a little, what the heck, a little bit more, huh? Well, you okay. can never go wrong with too yeah. much garlic. There's no such thing. No such thing. So we'll get this kind of cooked yeah. down together. I think garlic being cooked might be one of my favorite scents ever. Oh, yeah. oh my God. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna kind of keep this at a medium okay. heat. We don't want to burn the garlic because it's too high. Sure. So now when everything is kind of nice and caramelized on here with the seasoning, the garlic, um, the flavor from the peppers and onions coming out, we're going to deglaze this pan here. We got some white wine, which we use a lot of that in our cooking. Yeah. And I actually have a, a chicken stock. Okay. That's going to just add to the flavor mm -hmm. of this dish. Mm -hmm. Okay. While that's kind of cooking down, I am going to grab some of our real butter. Add that, and that'll make it nice and creamy. Yeah. While that's cooking, <laughs> we have some penne pasta that's cooked al dente. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to finish it here. Okay. We're going to let this sauce cook down a little bit, and then be back for some plating and tasting. Right on. Yeah. All right, so now this sauce is perfection, and we've got the pasta ready. It's time okay. to do your so thing. So here we go. I'm going to take the pasta out of the thing. A little bit of pasta water, of course, yes. in there finishes it. Yep. And I'm going to drop that penne noodle in there. And we're just going to keep tossing this around and letting yeah. that pasta finish cooking in yeah. the sauce. While that's doing that, it's getting all nice and sticky. Uh, we will add a little bit more of my house seasoning, which is called shake on. The reason why I call it that is because we shake it on everything. <laughs> I love so that. Almost everything here at Valentini's has the shake on seasoning in it. Wow. The shake on secret seasoning. Secret seasoning, you, <laughs> which you can buy, but I can't tell you the recipe. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. I appreciate that. So yeah, we're getting close Beautiful. here. Probably another 30 seconds. That sauce is kind of just starting to stick to those noodles a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. So much color in this dish. Yeah. Those peppers and give it a nice... Uh, it's kind of a light dish. Um, it's not too heavy. It has that some, means I can eat more of it well, then, it right? Well, it has some body to it, of course. <laughs> but we didn't, uh, you know, the, the, the sauce is made right in the pan, of course. You know, we don't yeah. top it with anything else. No. So yeah, we saw that creation happen right before my eyes. Okay, mm. here we are. We're good to go. Beautiful. That good? Oh, it just hit me. The white wine, whoop, right in my face. Okay. <laughs> Of course, it's not complete yet. Okay, I'm gonna gotta finish do a it little... off. We got a little bit of shredded Parmesan. Uh huh. Okay, and of course, we have some fresh basil. Oh yes. It kind of finishes this and gives it that real fresh, fresh mm. flavor. Okay. Okay. That's beautiful. I'm going to. I'm gonna try not to burn my mouth. But okay, I gotta get all the things. I gotta Enjoy. get some pasta. Thank you. I gotta get some pepper, some sausage. Hold on, I got too much. There we go. I think this is the bite. It's going to be hot. I know. I'm going to blow it a little bit. Oh my God. Mm hmm. There's so much flavor happening here. That sausage is phenomenal. Good. Mm. Glad you like it. But with the peppers, it's just the perfect combination. It brings it all, kind of brings it's it so together. so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And it isn't too heavy, which is why I'm going in for another bite. 
<laughs> this is so good. Oh my goodness. Took too big of a bite, so I got a two for a minute. Mmm. The the sweet and then the saltiness from the cheese too. Yes. Dude, yeah. you did it right. This There's is some, so thank delicious. You. Thank yeah. you so much. I can't wait to see what else you have in store. Everything okay. so far has been so delicious that I, I'm like doing a little happy dance All right, on the good. inside. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Until the next, which I hear I got tiramisu on the docket we too. Have tiramisu. We're still going to do an Italian combination plate, which has. Uh, three of our specialties. Yes. The original specialties of Valentine's. Yes. So. Until that, I can't wait. Right. Hey everyone, so I am back. Chef Rob, we've already met. And then also, Paul, they are co-owners of Valentini's. So, Paul, take me back to the beginning, like the name, the history. The beginning of Valentini's is the beginning of us and Valentini's. I want you to take me back to the beginning of Valentini's and we'll just segue right into it. I wasn't here guys. then, because it was 1934. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, uh, Justina Valentini, along with Mario Rialli, they founded G. Valentini's, it was actually called the Corner Bar, and it was one building mm -hmm. here, and then eventually they expanded to the rest of this whole place. Right. Got quite big. So yeah, she founded it, she ran it for many, many years here on the Iron Range, and then she handed it down to her two sons, Nello and Bruno, and in the, after that, Nello handed it down to his two sons, Michael and Robert, and then... That's where the connection is, right, though? Because yes. you've got family ties. Yes, I'm related to Nello Valentini. Gotcha. Yeah. So then uh, Rob and I ended up buying it in 2001 from uh, basically Robert and Michael, even though it had been shuttered for about a year and a half. So. And you two met each other in what capacity? Well, I was working over at a uh, place in Hibbing, Grand mm -hmm. Park. And I hired Rob to be one of the sous chefs, so that's the first time we met. Gotcha. You know, so we were there for like what, three and a half, four years together, and then from there we, we ended up buying this place. You had the opportunity to yeah. Yeah. keep it in the family and do something new with it. Yep. Yeah. Love that. Although it, it was for ourselves. Yes. We do something on our own. Yep. Love that. I worked for a lot of other people for a long time, so mm -hmm. I figured I'm going to try working for myself. Sure. Sure. You were talking earlier when we were speaking about, you're like, and, you know, get to make my own mistakes. Yes. And then, but it's yours. Yes. Yours to claim and then yours to learn from and then perfect, which you guys have got a really great thing going here. And also, like, even just doing events, like the capacity that you have to be able to, with two, right, two kitchens. We, we've done some big events here, but actually, yeah, and we've gotten up to 400, 420, but we've got bigger events off property. We've done some weddings over 500 uh, on wow. off properties, wow. um, yeah. it, which is a challenge because we're not really a uh, catering business. Uh -huh. We don't have the equipment, but we, we make do. Uh, so we've done quite a few big things off property. So people come in here and they eat and they're like, well, now I have to have this for my wedding. Yes. <laughs> now I have yes. to have this for my anniversary or whatever it is, celebratory. And up here being tight knit and everything, usually it's somebody we know or a close friend, uh -huh. so we can't say no. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, because we love to say sometimes, sorry, you know, we're busy, but you can't say no. So it's an honor, really, to be asked yeah, to yeah. do that. So here we go. Right? It is. Uh, it's been, we've done some pretty large things. I mean, it, it definitely stretches our abilities. Mm hmm but we've been able to handle it. So right. is a lot of your staff that you have currently people who have been with you from the beginning or have you kind of fine tuned that? We have some people working for us that were with us over at Hitty. Okay. Oh, over wow. With us. Yeah. And they've stayed with us. I mean, it's been, we have a core staff that's been here a long time. Um, you know, it, it, we, you always have the ones that come and go. Mm -hmm. you know, and you have the young kids that are working when they're young, but we have sure. four staff that's been with us and supported us and, you know, really kind of covered our back at times. Helped make it what it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kind of like family, you know, part family almost, yeah. Yeah. working family. Mm -hmm. so. 
So, the same thing oh yeah, customers for that followed us from giving and that have stayed with us. You guys must have really made an impact and there. Us, you know, for 20, 22 years we've been here, so wow. Without the customers and the, our employees, you know, this would be uh, not happening. So it's been great. That is fantastic. So this has been looking looking at me. <laughs> tell me, tell me, this is so substantial. <laughs> tell me what I've got in front of me. Okay, so this is one of our specialties, yeah. three of them actually here at Valentini's. You're like, let's just put them all was, in one place. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the best of uh, what the Valentini family had mm -hmm. before, the original recipes that got handed down. So we just kept it and, yeah. and put them together. We have our homemade meat ravioli, which is our pasta pillows. Mm -hmm. They're filled pasta with pillows. a they're filled with a beef and pork blend. Okay. Celery, onion, some spinach. I'm diving in on this. Uh huh. Keep talking. Okay. <laughs> uh, we top it off with a hand rolled meatball, which we do okay. on a weekly basis, if not more than that. Top of that's our sugo sauce, which is our uh, homemade yes. tomato sauce. That sauce and and that cooks. Uh, overnight with uh, a bunch of seasonings and, and other ingredient onions and it's and better the second day sauce it, is always it is. better the it second is. day it, i don't it, know there's magic that happens yeah. overnight <laughs> so that's the meatball you're trying mm -hmm. there mm. the texture in that oh i just got some garlic mm. <laughs> the texture in that's so good Okay. This, hold on, I'm going in for a second bite of this yeah. ravioli. Mm. That is a delicious ravioli. Does that uh, remind mm. you of your grandpa's? It does, it's a sauce. Good. It's the sauce. Like this is nostalgia on the, on the plate for me. Mm. Good. That's so good. All right, what, what, okay. what's here? In so here. then we have our homemade linguine mm -hmm. carbonara. Uh, we saute yeah. pancetta, which is Italian yes. bacon. It's not smoked like American, it's just cured. We render that down. Yeah. Uh, we have, of course, fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. Tons of fresh garlic in our cooking, as I said earlier. Yes. Um, creamy with some butter. Yeah. And then we, we add evaporated milk. And then what tightens that whole thing together is the imported Pecorino Romano cheese, which we get in big wheels. And uh, Paul's brother, Brian, actually grinds all that for us. So it's a real coarse grind. Oh, this is decadent. It's, uh, <laughs> it's real oh, salty. Man. It's a sheep's milk cheese that just adds uh, oh my that gosh. finishing. The cream and then, yeah, yeah a little bit of saltiness touch. from pancetta. This is this So soft. there's some, mm. thank you, yeah, there's some Nice layers in there mm -hmm. that uh, go together well, obviously, with the sugo red sauce, the carbonara sauce. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, and then what do I have here? And then another specialty, chicken uh -huh. cacciatore. Uh, Northern style cacciatore. Okay. It is a white wine and rosemary sauce that we use. Ooh. So we uh, take chicken on the bone. Mm -hmm. It's the only way that I like to do it. Sometimes we've had to adjust, but we bake that for hours in the cacciatore sauce. Oh man, so the flavor is just gonna have flavor goes be right, so woven right in there. All that. And then of course it makes the chicken just tender, fall off the bone. So uh, should I pick it up with my fingers? You can just dig your fork right in. <laughs> and of course the cacciatore sauce mixed with the carbonara oh. sauce, mixed oh, with yes. the sugo. That just I mean, came. Yeah. oh my. It, uh, it's just the best of, of everything when you get to Holy mix moly, all that it's together. Holy so tender. Mmm, it's just melting in my mouth right now. <laughs> and you're right, the flavor is all the way yeah. through. Mmm. Oh man. Look at that, it just came right off. Just so easy. Easy peasy. Mmm. This is beautiful. Thank you. I loved all of them and all for different reasons. Like it's just different flavor profiles all popping in my mouth. Mm. That chicken. Holy moly. So if you take a piece of chicken with, Do it the, with the carbonara. The, yeah, I'm going to take I your just, suggestion. Yeah. Like <laughs> chef's going to give me a suggestion. I'm taking it. That's what I like to do. Okay. You know. I got a big piece too. Yeah. So now my mouth's going to be a ho ho. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a good call. Mm. Good. 
Beautiful, beautiful. And now, I mean, I know tiramisu when I see it. This is a pretty, pretty piece. Talk to me about it. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. No meal, of course, <laughs> is complete without a little bit of, of uh, homemade tiramisu. I'm gonna have a little sweetness at the yes. end. I'm gonna uh, cleanse my palate with wine. I don't know if go. that's a thing, but I'm, I'm All making the time. it a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. So it's uh, just a traditional uh -huh. tiramisu. Yeah. Uh, my wife makes it here. The bottom layer, lady fingers. Yep. Soaked in espresso and dark rum. So we get that nice and saucy. Oh, get yeah. them softened up. I smell up. it now. Mm. Of course, on top is the mascarpone Italian sweet cream cheese. Yes. A uh, nice thick layer of that. Yeah, it is. And of course, some cocoa on the top to finish it off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we plate it, drizzle some sweet chocolate, of course whipped cream, and uh, mm. yeah, boom. Oh, that mascarpone is so creamy and delightful. Yeah. yeah. I love that it is like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not it, too, like to where you're like, woo, this is a, oh, that's yeah. good. That's so between a good, the coffee, uh -huh. the dark coffee, the rum, the sweetness from the cheese, a little bit of more sweetness with the syrup. Yeah, it finishes. But not too much. Oh, oh just a yeah. really pleasant bite. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Finishes the meal good. What's your favorite thing? When you come mm -hmm. and you're going to eat here, what do you uh, eat? Come on, tell me, Paul. <laughs> I love the chicken ketchup, right? Yeah. It's really good. I'm, I'm, so that's don't doubt that. The grabs, everything's been good. I, mean, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. A lot of times I have the cooks just make me something special because we're here all the time. Do now. you now? You're like, oh, so you put a little by, flavor in it. Just walk by and tell them, make me something. But yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Like that's to get to fun, taste. And it gets them <clears throat> to do something that they usually don't do. Absolutely. But yeah, I, the chicken's always been a main stay. What's there. your go to? We go through a lot of chicken. I bet. I so oh, bet. Yeah. Well, just curious. Kind of yeah. the, like Paul said, the nice part is, I mean, we're here all the time. Right. Um, these are our favorites for 22 years. We eat them quite a bit. Yeah. Nice part about what we do is we're cooking, making specials all the time. Mm -hmm. So usually it's the specials. Um, that makes sense. I'm either kind of, you know, I got a great team. We get together on stuff. Um, a lot of times we'll do two, a pasta special or a steak special or both or whatever. How often? Daily. Yeah, oh, daily dang. on a daily basis. We have okay. usually a lunch, one or two specials. Um, again, homemade stuff, we're creating that constantly here. Mm -hmm. So my uh, cooks back there, they get to be, be involved and yeah. be creative with that. Bring that the artistic um, side Yeah, out. so we kind of talk about that work together. Of course, we have to use things that we have from other stuff, but sure. uh, so it's specials for me. Um, we're making them, we're eating them, we're trying, we're making sure that they're good so that customers <laughs> Keep, right. keep trying them too. And then your so. regulars can come in and if they want to get a staple that they know they've yeah. tried and love, they can do that. But then Definitely. also, you know, if they want to go rogue <laughs> and try a special, they know they're going to love it, I'm sure. And so it's like of, keeping it fresh yeah. for them too. We have a lot of and customers that don't even look at the menu, to be honest with you. They, oh yeah, just, they just walk in and They say, come and either special. know what they want, combo plate, cacciatore, or it's what's on special. Mm -hmm. A lot of them get the special, so yep. That's awesome. Well. Well done here with bringing those, you know, keeping those, those recipes alive here in Chisholm. And then also bringing in your new flavors too, just a yeah. little bit of brightness to it and creating yeah. a, an Italian spot in this city that, you know, didn't, doesn't really have anything else. So well done guys, let's cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Valentini's. Well folks, this is Valentini's Supper Club, and the only thing missing is you. I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the mostess here at ABR, and until next time, where we show you where the best local eats are. Bye, everyone.